Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through Hamilton cycle. So Hamilton cycle is nothing but this also, this topic also you will be covering in graph theory guys. So don't worry, I will be explaining you here in detail. Okay, so basically Hamiltonian cycle is nothing but a particular path through which you will be visiting each and every vertex and coming back to the same vertex. That is nothing but the Hamiltonian cycle. Okay, so that is what I have just written here guys. So it will be 100% clear. So if you take an example here, so from 1 you will be starting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, return back to 1 simple, right? Yes, so that is a Hamiltonian cycle. So, so from here only you can say a single graph can have multiple, okay, a mul sorry, can have multiple Hamiltonian cycles. So Hamiltonian cycle in a connected graph, a path that visits every vertex of the graph G exactly once except the starting or ending vertices. It is called Hamiltonian cycle. Starting and ending vertices should be same. That is the only condition or the point that you will be concentrating on. Okay. So we could have multiple Hamiltonian cycles. Finding them is an inno H sorry is an NP hard problem. Guys, we'll be discussing about this NP hard problem in our next lecture. In our next unit, sorry. In our next unit, we'll be discussing about these only in detail. Don't worry. As we need to consider all cases. So basically, in these situations, you are not depending on cost or anything, right? So the only goal is to find the path. That's it. So even if you find one or two paths, it will be enough. Okay. If you want to find all the paths, then indirectly you will be solving all the problems, right? Almost. So that is the reason why only few problem solving will be enough. Okay, so the algorithm guys again the same situation as the previous I am not 100% clear with this algorithm as this also belongs to backtracking So wherever I am searching I am getting the exact algorithm I tried to search for explanation, but I didn't found the exact explanation that I was able to understand So I have just copied the algorithm. I'll be explaining you like whatever the small small things that you should remember Okay, so basically algorithm for Hamiltonian. So K is nothing but the starting vertex where you are starting so do next vertex. So I told you like next vertex is again and again used in multiple algorithms guys. So next vertex is nothing but this whole process will just find the next vertex guys. So this step is the thing which work which finds the next vertex and if that vertex is equals to zero then it will be returning directly. Sorry. Sorry then the cost of it is zero then it will directly return. If its cost is not zero initially we will be initializing all costs to zero guys. So if that cost is not equal to zero, then we'll be checking for some more conditions. As it is not equal to zero, then we'll be following some loops like what are the operations we'll be doing. So again, these are the steps which you will be finding in exactly in the previous algorithm also. Okay. So once it is done, you'll be continuing until that is true and you'll be returning back. Returning back here and you'll be checking whether the value is equal to two still. So if it is equal to two, you'll be returning back. If it is not equal to two, you'll be continuing down. And if both are equal and the starting and ending vertex where you are visiting is equal, that is indirectly you have completed the whole process. Means you will be writing the results on the screen or you will be printing the results on the screen. Else you will be continuing this Hamiltonian path. So that is nothing but the Hamiltonian cycle guys. So in this way you will be finding the Hamiltonian cycle. Sorry for not explaining the algorithm because I am also not having that much clarity to explain it in a step by step way process. Okay. Sorry for that. Okay. So now let us go through the bully. Uh, for the bounding function in this Hamiltonian. So values taken in array should not exist. So basically whatever values you are taking in the array that should not be repeated or that should not exist really. So we will be starting from one commonly. So we will start from one. Okay. So edge should exist to previous one. So basically if you are connecting two things there should be an edge originally also. There should not be some random edge which doesn't even exist and you are connecting it. Okay. So last x value should have edge 1. So basically at the end you should return back to 1, right? So that is the reason why at the end you should have 1. So that it will return back to 1. Got it? Okay. So let us take a small problem and draw the state space tree for that. So it, you will be having a clear idea that how we are going to proceed. Okay. So this is the state space tree. So before doing anything, just convert it into graph guys. Simple. If there is an edge between 1, 3, you will be marking it as 1. So 1, 3, it is 1. Similarly, this is a not directed. So it will also be from 3 to 1, 3 to 1. 
so in that way you will be filling the whole matrix if edge exists one if edge doesn't exist so one to four it is nothing but zero edge doesn't exist okay so in that way you will be filling the matrix once matrix filling is done you will be coming to our solution okay so initially as i have told you all the vertices will be zeros initially okay so initially you will be assuming the first vertex as one only so we inserted the first vertex so similarly you continued till five okay so you tried to continue till five from one you can go to 2, from 2 you can go to 3, from 3 you can go to 4, from 4 you can go to 5, yes, yes that is true, from 1 you can go to 2, from 2 to you can go to 3, from 3 you can go to 4, from 4 you can go to 5 and from 5 you can directly return to 1, okay, so this you can write it in this way, yes, yes you can write it in this way or you can even represent here 1 also, because after 4 you will be reaching 5, after 5 you will be reaching 1 again. Okay, or you can even some in some books it de it depends on the book guys because most books use the, this kind of representation so I am using that okay okay so now we found one path so basically whenever you are solving some kind of question like this the problem will not be directly this much specific guys because I draw it the, I draw on the example so it is really easy like the continuous path is nothing but the Hamiltonian cycle so let us assume we didn't found this path okay. So if you didn't found this path or if you found any kind of issues that it is not possible from there to continue. So you will be returning back. So from 4 is there any combination to make other than 5? No. From 3 can you make any combination? From 3 you can make 5 comma 4. Okay. From 3 you can make 5 comma 4. But from 3 we are not having any path to 5. Okay. So that is also omitted. After that the combination with 3 are also done. So now let us move back to 2. From 2 what are the combinations that we can make? From 2 we can make 3, 4 and 5. So 3 is already done. That's path. That's the path which we have visited. So now from 2 you can go to 4 and 5. So let us assume first we will be going to 4. 4. After that if you go to 5. You will you will be missing one path right. So let me show it here. So 1 to 2. 2 to 4. 4 to 3. After that 3 to 5 is not possible. And similarly 5 to 3 is not possible. So this path is also gone. Okay, so now the other left out path is nothing but 5 through 5. Okay, so from 2 I came to 5. From 5 I will going to 4, I will be going to 1. Sorry, 3. From 3 I will be coming back to 1. So this is a path, right? So in that way. From 2 I will be going to 5, 5 to 4, 3. So again from 3 to 1. Indirectly that is also a path. So this uh, these two are the Hamiltonian cycle. So if you want based on your marks on the marks that are given in the question like he will be asking to find 2 paths, 3 paths, 4 paths based on depending on the marks you can adjust it. So if we continue simultaneously we get multiple Hamiltonian cycles for the particular graph for this particular graph for this. Okay. So I hope everyone got some idea on Hamiltonian cycles. So sorry for not explaining the algorithm guys. Okay. So in the next lecture we will be continuing, continuing our explanation with backtracking we will be solving one more important problem that is 0 by, 0 by 1 knapsack problem. So that is very important guys. So let us meet in the next tutorial. Thank you. Thanks for watching.